Guys, the wait is over. The new Lexus GX, probably the most highly anticipated Lexus in a very, very long time. We finally have details, including specifications, including price. Let's go. <laughs> Now, most of you know these details. These have been gospel for a while, especially, you know, the, the five-seater overtrail models with the 33-inch wheels. That was all announced as well as the twin-turbo V6. We all knew that as well as towing, towing capacity even, and we knew about the hybrid. So, however, the hybrid is not coming at launch, just probably available sometime in 2024 would be my guess. Starting MSRP, guys, including DHP, $64,000. Where does the current one start at? Well, it starts at 60725 but you got to keep in mind, yes, the V8's gone and we have a bigger, more capable uh, GX now, but we have way better safety features in here on the new one. We have way better powertrain numbers, maybe not, you know, as desirable for some people. Some people just want simple V8 and there's a gajillion of these old GXs that are going to be on the roads forever. So those will always be an option. But the styling, guys, I would pay every penny possible to get this sort of styling over this frumpy, completely ugly, in my opinion, unless you put like the off-road bumpers on the GX and it looks amazing. But really, this is the way to go now. And you're going to have better safety, better technology with the screens, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Wireless now, all that good stuff. And you get better towing capacity and the list goes on. So I want to pull up the spec sheet for you guys too. We have all the nerdy details. I don't want to get too much into this because this could put you guys to sleep. If you want to pause at any given point in time, go ahead and do that. We got the, the weight numbers. A big standout here is, of course, the GVWR is still over 6,500 pounds, which is important for people uh, who have businesses and want to buy it as a tax write-off. That is still going to be a GX Forte at the end of the year. You have sellout. Like, when I was selling Lexus's, Lexus models, people would be snapping up GX's even all the way up into uh, like December 31st so they can get that tax write off for that year. All right, um cargo capacity, well, all seats up why is this so much higher cuz it only has two rows on the on the overtrail models. Uh let's see what else. Towing is a little bit less on the luxury models cuz they weigh more with the added equipment. Uh, fuel economy, we knew at 17 miles per gallon, 21 on the highway, and 15 in the city. Not that much better than the current model, but it's a bigger vehicle. So, you know, I'll take that with more horsepower and better torque, too. All right, zero to 60, guys. Zero to 60. Check this out. Six and a half seconds. It's pretty darn snappy. Um, now, the current GX is no slouch either, in my opinion, but. Um, max speed, this cannot be correct. 175 miles per hour. There is no way that is correct. Um, okay. <laughs> it's probably like 115 miles an hour. What's 175 kilometers per hour? Yeah, I think that might be kilometers per hour. 108 miles per hour is probably more accurate than 175 miles per hour. Uh, all right. Here are some of the gear ratios for you nerds out there. Double wishbone front suspension uh, and four link with coil springs in the back. If you guys, you know, turning radius, all that good stuff. But let's get into the uh, the big takeaway here, which is pricing. Do we have a pricing list? Absolutely. All right. Let's get into this pricing spreadsheet for the new GX. So currently we have, this is 2023 model year GX compared to the 2024 model year GX, by the way. So the most recent pricing for both of them, we don't have a base model anymore on the GX 550. Instead, we start with the premium model. And that's almost true with the current GX. Uh, when I was selling the GX, it, we would hardly see any non-premium models, premium, premium plus is was the majority and then you would have some luxury models now there is no true premium plus grade it's technically the premium with the premium plus package on the current gx and same thing with a luxury plus it's uh, adding the off-road package i think the sport package as well and adding uh, maybe the 360 camera and stuff so adding all the equipment this is a fully loaded out luxury plus model all right so there is a price increase, guys, uh, like I said, of about 3500 bucks from the new premium compared to the old base, right? But this is the best deal. There's only a 2% increase in price 
of uh, the premium model. So premium over premium, and you're still getting way better technology and a way better safety technology, bigger space as well. So this is a great buy, the premium model, and it gets slightly worse as you go up in equipment and as you go up in price. So the premium price, Premium Plus is about 4,600 bucks more than the old model, which is a 7% price hike. The luxury model is about a 9% price hike of about 6,300 bucks. A luxury Plus is about $6,700 increase, which is about a 9% price increase as well. And we didn't have any Overtrail models before, but Overtrail, here you are. Uh, it, this is not bad. Why do I mean this is not bad pricing? We know that a lot of people are going to pick the, pick the GX550 over the Land Cruiser, either due to styling. I mean, it's the same vehicle, essentially, just a little bit different exterior and interior styling. So if people like the GX better uh, and they want the twin turbo V6. They don't want the hybrid. The GX is not that much more expensive than the Land Cruiser. You know, we don't have final pricing on the Land Cruiser, but the Land Cruiser starts, I think they said in the low to mid 50s for the 1952 model. Yes, this is a huge price jump compared to that, but the quality of the materials are night and day. So the GX Overtrail is really going to compare with maybe the first editions of the Land Cruiser. And those are probably going to be in the low 60s without dealer markups. So this is looking like a pretty good buy on the over trail models, absolutely. This being the GX550 though, with three rows of seats, and then you have uh, some money here for modifications, but it's only about five grand more compared to the premium model uh, for the over trail. So guys, you're gonna have lots of different options here for the GX550. But if it's too expensive, then you also have the Land Cruiser, which is going to get you a little bit better fuel economy um, and still really good power numbers, very similar power numbers with the uh, torque and the horsepower on the electrified hybrid Land Cruiser, which you will be able to get that same powertrain here on the GX550 at a later date, just not at launch. So are you happy with the pricing of the new GX? I, you know, I think I am. It is an incredibly designed vehicle. It's going to be built to last the test of time. It's essentially a land cruiser uh, that, well, it's a J2, it's, it's a Prado that's been built up and extended. Uh, so it's essentially the same size as the J300 Land Cruiser or the Lexus LX now. And in fact, the GX offers a lot more exciting things compared to the LX, like a panel roof. Um, and uh, better screen technology. I think it's got the bigger screen of the 14 inch screen. So I'm excited for the GX. This thing is going to be, uh, even though it's expensive and it's more expensive than the old model, the upgrades in the design and the upgrades uh, in the, the, the technology on this are going to be, and the size, are going to make it just an absolute cash cow not Cash Kai. We actually saw a, a rogue on the road yesterday here in North America with Cash Kai badges in Florida. So I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe they imported it or they just put on Cash Kai uh, for that rogue sport. But anyways, the GX550 is going to be a cash cow, just like the current GX is. And this thing is going to be like a more reliable defender. I think it looks amazing. And I cannot wait to drive it. I should be able to drive it in late January. Just depending on when baby Kreifels comes, I may have to cancel my reservation. We'll see. Hopefully not. But uh, family is more important, obviously. And I only got one son. So this is this is the time to spend with. Anyways, I'm going to shut it down there. Thank you guys for watching. Cannot wait to see your impressions and reactions on the pricing of the new Lexus GX. 550. I think it's priced right, especially the premium and the entry level over trail priced really, really nicely. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day and peace.